Lil Xan, an artist that came into the game during a strange time. He popped out at a moment when everyone was focused on antics more than the music itself. And Lil Xan coming up at this time, I mean, his career was only gonna be full of antics. I'm pretty sure make videos on anybody who really come to mind. And today, we going back to an artist you definitely remember. Lil Xan, the man went from having a hot song to being hated on by the entire rap game. I mean, it was so bad, people was pulling up on him in person, pressing him about what he said. So bro, nearly dying because too many hot Cheetos. Lil Xan, well, I'm not finna call grown man Lil Xan for the rest of my videos, so we are gonna call him by his other rap name, Diego. Diego blew it back in 2017 with his hit Betrayed that he dropped with Lyrical Lemonade. But before this, he had been going up for a minute. He said I was rapping as a hobby for a year and six months, but it got real serious six months ago. Then even more four months ago and even more two months ago. And I was even at a level where the moment which I created Xanarchy took off. The music doing real well. I'm just blessed to be in this position right now. Okay, yeah, bro music going crazy, but his name is Lil Xan. You'll probably wonder where he even got that from. Basically, back then, he was on Zan's bad, and everybody around him knew him as the dude who was always off the of Zan. So, and so people just started to call him Lil Zan. But it was during the time Diego was blowing up that he was locked in. I'm talking about he was announcing tours, album, merch, all that. And at one point, even was trying to change his name because in 2018, it was a whole movement where all these rappers were saying they was going to quit lean and quit all these drugs, basically kicking a cup. But for a minute after blowing up, Diego was just cool. Until the interview came out and he said the wrong thing. Revolt dropped the interview with Diego, basically just questioning, bro. They were just asking him questions about his life, music taste, all that. And one of the questions was about Tupac. And he was like, yeah, Tupac boring. I give his music a two. He said it just wasn't for him. But when I say this was bad, this had the whole world coming at bro. I'm telling you, every time you got online, you seen people talking about it. All because he said he ain't like Tupac music. I mean, personally, I could care less about what some random nigga got to say about Tupac. But that's just me. Twitter started dragging bro name through the mud. And I mean, look at some of the replies to the tweet showing what he said. Stop making these trash wannabe rappers famous. I'm sure when it got gone, nobody gonna remember him like Pop. But I mean... He can have his own opinion. But it was more than just Twitter coming in, bro. His pop statement had rappers coming at him. And I'm talking about stamp rappers, not no randoms. Headlines start pouring in. Waka Flocka thinks Lil Xan should be banned from hip hop. Not gonna lie, a rapper banning you from rapping is crazy. But Waka was snapping on him. Lil Xan banned from hip hop. Gotta rap in hip hop. Tupac Shakur. Pac helped me get through childhood. It hurt to see that you disrespect the man that paved the way for all of us, literally. I hope nobody overlooked my accomplishments when I leave. And bro, the hate was getting so bad, he came out publicly saying he don't even want to do interviews no more. You know what? I'm going to just stop saying how I feel and I'm done doing interviews. The situation get crazy though. At this point, it wasn't even rappers just dissing him. It was actors out here talking down on him. I know I said it get crazy, but I mean, after this, the situation just kept getting crazy because this was the point where the situation would turn from online hate to physical hate i'm talking about bro was getting mobbed in public because of what he said about tupac and keep in mind all this going down within like a week or two <laughs> So, the media twisted my words. I think Tupac is a legend. Tupac is definitely a legend. That's what's up. 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 Tupac a legend. They just twist your words and they want you to hate me. Don't hate me. Positivity. Tupac is a legend, bro. Yeah. I don't know why he's so butthurt over that. Thank you. Because you're famous. They just mad. Man, all that that just went down in that clip happened because he said he ain't like Tupac music. He ain't lying. He's saying the media tried to switch what he said, but clearly in the video, he did say he didn't like Tupac music. So I don't know why he was trying to backtrack. He was already too deep in, but that video was crazy and really too far. Them niggas did not have to do all that over a Tupac statement. And it was so bad that he had to get escorted by the police. They saying I'm soft for police escorting me away from a group of 20 people trying to jump me. And you could call me soft all you want, but I ain't no gang banging rapper. Am I supposed to act hard? Am I supposed to not mess with the police because I'm a rapper? I really think about it. All that because he ain't like Tupac. But at the end of the day, this is where that situation ended. And for about two months, Diego really wasn't in the news no more. He was just dropping music, living his life happy. Or at least that's what we thought at the time. I want to show y'all what mental illness really looks like. Y'all want to see what that looks like? I just did this to my car. Scratched it, keyed it up. I just bought it. I just bought this car. Keyed all the way. Hit the door. Wanna know why I'm doing that? Because of mental 
illness. All this materialistic sh don't mean sh world. And when they won't let you do, I'm owned. I'm a slave. I'm a slave to my management. I'm a slave to everybody. I don't get control of my license. I don't get control of my bank account. I don't get control of sh I can't even drive that car. They put it in the basement so I couldn't take it. I know I don't have a license, but if I have someone with the license, I could take it. So everybody, this is mental illness. I don't care. Make fun of me. I'm gonna make fun of me on the internet. I don't give a look at this. Hundred fifty thousand dollars. Hundred fifty thousand dollars. You want to see some? Look. That shit. We ain't know what kind of mental problems he was facing. Yeah, he was getting the bag, but at the same time, he was getting threatened by the whole world. Had the entire rap game against him. It was getting hated on every single time he touched down on the internet. And that's all on top of whatever he could have been going through in real life. It was only a matter of time before bro broke down on the media. He said, we all had mental breakdowns. We all go through mental problems. I just want to let the world know I'm better and I'm back. I'm healthy. It was just a mixture of things and anxiety. But over the next few months, he was real public with his mental health struggles. He even shot a video in the psych ward. But at the same time he was battling these mental health problems, he started dating Noah Cyrus, Miley Cyrus' sister. And it was only a matter of time before this relationship self-destructed. But before that relationship could get any further, bro got into some beef. So he ended up dropping the song and it was cool until people started comparing it to another song like the internet always do basically they said the end credits of the music video was similar to another one so really sit and understand nigga this whole beef sparked up because of some credits on the music video i just want you to think about that but the rapper in question is a man named killy so after people started talking about it killy got online and called them nigga a waste you and for us U.S. niggas, we don't know what bro talking about. Urban Dictionary say it mean a nigga annoying. So Diego wasn't finna let bro just talk about him like that. So he hopped on a No Jumper interview with his own little response. Basically, just dissing Killy, talking down on him. He was in an interview calling him a bitch. He was like, bro, I don't mess with Killy. And this started a whole Twitter war between the two. Diego said, yo, Killy, I keep hearing my song on the radio. That feel crazy. I hope you get to experience that one day. And after these tweets, Killy took the IG, responding in live. And after this live, he said Diego was banned from Canada. And so that was that for a minute. People wasn't thinking about the beef no more. People really forgot about the beef because it wasn't that beef. Until these two somehow ended up at the same spot. After they got the arguing though, Diego couldn't wait to hop on social media with his own response. Like, in my opinion, I've been told like I'm one of the most genuine, humble dudes in like hip hop. Like, I'm like, like, I'm no better than any human being on this planet. And I res and like, I respect everybody, women, man, I, I respect everybody. I just want to spread the love and keep the positivity going, because I've always been about positivity. Bro, talking about, he trying to spread love and positivity, but in the interview, he was dissing bro and was definitely calling him a bitch. But after the beef, he just couldn't stay out the news. Barely a month after coming public with his relationship with Noah Cyrus, they broke up. I feel like I'm probably being cheated on and bad things always happen to the good guy. So I'm gonna be an asshole from now on if you ain't game. Yo, it just hurts so bad. You think you used to somebody. You think you know somebody. Literally my whole time, I'm just being used. But this girl ain't like this. She came out giving her own side and said she was heartbroken too, but Diego was tripping. She said she sent a meme with Charlie Poof on a P-Star body and Diego started thinking she was cheating on him. But he came out saying, that's cat. what I look like being mad because she sent a meme. If y'all think the meme is the reason I broke up with Noah, that's hilarious. I broke up with her because he was all over some dude and the short it, at the end of the day, they both thought they was cheating on each other. But at the same time, they were saying it was heartbroken. Diego came out saying the relationship was set up by their label. I thought what we had was real, but I guess it wasn't. You know, it was something set up by Columbia Records. Columbia set it up to boost 
her career, you know, to get everybody popping. But he's saying the breakup was supposedly set up, but at the same time, he heartbroke. But at the same time, the relationship not supposed to be real. Look, I don't know, but at the end of the day, he decided to pull a Kanye and pissed on his platinum plaque for the song that put him on in the first place. After pinning on the plaque, though, he started back speaking on the situation that almost got him jumped in the first place. I did not do anything. After the Tupac sh y'all literally acted like Tupac was your goddamn granddaddy. What the f <laughs> Like, when I said that Tupac y'all acted like you were sucking on that guy's some sh <laughs> Like, for real. He's a legend. I acknowledge that. He's a f legend. But what I said... But what I, but what I said is what I said. They cut the interview. And once again, Diego couldn't stop being in the news. This nigga ended up getting sent to the hospital because he ate too many hot Cheetos. And I promise you, I'm not trolling. But just a few weeks after almost dying off the hot Cheetos, Diego had a show coming up. But before he could get there, he was out shopping. It was at the mall and problems somehow came up. He started getting into it with somebody at the mall. Now, what caused the problems, we don't know. But what we do know, they got to argue. And Diego started snapping them, bro, calling them all type of niggas and all. He was talking crazy. And when he said that, you know the internet deal they do. They got mad at him, bro, because why he look like that? Saying nigga. But remember that show I was talking about? Just two days after the mall situation, they was coming up. So, he get to St. Louis ready to perform. And niggas started threatening, bro. Lizanne want to fade with me. I'm coming to your own show tomorrow to smack them. Out October 10th at the spot Lizanne was performing it. But you're probably thinking, well, man, don't nobody care. It's just random IG posts. Nah, nigga. He was scrapped up in the pictures. I'm talking about he had three guns posted up with him. And XXL even wrote an article talking about what he said. Reinforcing the threat. The man who TMZ think is beefing with the betrayed rapper. Over money, he thinks the rapper owes him. He uploaded an image of him holding three rifles. Catching a photo. Hi, Lizanne. See you later at your show. In the statement made to TMZ from, from Liz Ann Reps, it's our top priority, including the promoters and video to ensure safety at every show. This was an old situation that was taken care of internally. There's no reason to fear safety at any of Liz Ann shows moving forward. And but Diego and his label wasn't playing. They canceled that show off real. And the situation ended up getting so serious. An investigation by the feds even got started on bro. Well, not the feds, but 12. Y'all know what I mean. But over the next few months, Diego was in and out of rehab, getting kicked out airbnbs and even came out telling the world he was finna be a dad but this ain't coming out no problems people started accusing him and his girl of faking the pregnancy lizanne really thought he got us with this fake pregnancy google nine week ultrasounds and you see the exact photo he's showing us in the video as the eighth result and after twitter was cooking him accusing him of lying she came out not too long later saying that she had a miscarriage but june 2019 came around and people was still coming at him over the tupac comments but at this point he was tired. He was tired of getting treated like a hoe because he came out and gave his own opinion. And so one day, Diego went to the gas station, just getting gas, and somebody pull up on him with the camera out, asking him about the Tupac comments. And this would really be the final straw. As dude got the camera in his face, Diego turned around and grabbed the strap out the car. He pointed at bro, and they get to argue. And before Diego could let it go, his girl pulled him in the car. She was like, man, get your ass on. Come on, come on, come on. And he knew what was coming next. But he decided to shut it down before it could get too far. The media gonna try to twist what just happened at the gas station. I was about to be attacked and resorted to having to use self-defense. If all y'all old heads talking about that Tupac stuff, live your own life and stop picking on the kid. And it was like after this, bro life just started going downhill. He ended up having to go to court for pulling the gun out on dude. But where it get crazier is when these articles just came out of nowhere. Lil Zan denies him a fan. Claims he's dating her. Basically. A pic came out of Diego grabbing a girl butt while they was hugging. And for some reason, the internet just started calling bro a predator. And the internet do what the internet do best. Started snapping him, bro. Diego was mad, though. He ain't like the internet trying to play him like that. He was like, you think that's a fan? That's a girl I'm talking to? I ain't no fans. You guys just want to hurt my career. And the girl that was accusing him of even came out defending, bro. Just to set the record straight on that video that you guys all saw of me and Diego hugging, he is not me and any way at all he is not a monster by all means so you guys should stop assuming weird ass things just to try to make him look bad because he is an amazing person and he would never ever do such a thing and for a minute he was cooling until 2020 came around he was facing some real bad mental problems because what was going on at the time and bro was public about it too sorry for being inactive lately it's just everything going on making me lose my mind thank you guys for getting my new song on me y'all the best
much more coming soon. And the way he was feeling was so bad, he ended up having to go to the hospital. And during the next year, he was really just in and out the hospital, off drugs, off whatever. And at one point, he tried to quit Zans again, but the withdrawals were so bad, it was making him have seizures. But after being in and out, he got into another fight. So bro was out one day and started getting into it with Supreme Patty. Yeah, the nigga from back in the day, they used to be squeezing lemons in his eyes. But they got to fighting in there, throwing drinks, acting crazy. And after that whole situation, Supreme Patty took it to Twitter, telling the world what really went down. Lil Zan soft. He threw a drink at me at an event we both booked at. And when I tried to confront him, his security pulled me away. Grow up. I didn't run up on Diego. When all that went down last night, him or someone in his group threw a drink at me in his section. So I obviously got up and tried fighting, bro. Kid, lame. I've been trying to be positive and keep a positive image for over the past year. But regardless of who it is, I'm not taking disrespect from anyone, especially not Lil Zane. Man, he was just trolling, bro. He was just posting memes, trolling him. It was crazy. But a month or two after getting into it with Patty, he got into it with his manager. Diego accused his former manager of supplying him with drugs when he almost died from his addiction. Basically, after years of being in and out of rehab, he finally came out, giving someone to blame. Do you guys remember the whole little peep story? The story when his management was giving him drugs and just wasn't helping him and all that? That happened to me on my tour. My manager's name, well, I don't even call him manager no more. Stat Quo. Remember that name? Stat quo when I was on tour through 2018 to 2000, whatever. The world tours with Nicki Minaj and Juice World and all that. I was a drug addict back then, right? And my manager was supplying me with drugs. Diego said Stat will make calls to have drugs delivered whenever the rapper needed them on tour. Diego was contemplating taking legal action because of the detrimental effects caused by the addiction. He gonna act like he ain't do that like a hypocrite. And I'm really feeling like I should take him to court. Because that was the time when I almost died. I was skinny, unhealthy. Yeah. But his name is that quote. And he also took my car away too that I paid the majority of money for. Now he want 30 rats of the remaining money to pay it off. It's literally all my money in that car and he won't give it to him. So at this point, Diego accusing his old manager of stealing from him and supplying him with drugs he didn't need. But at the same time, I get that his manager was supplying the drugs, but he had a brain of his own. So he could have denied it. Supplying the drugs to him was wrong, but he also had a choice. And he even admitted he had a choice. Am I 100% putting the blame on him? No. I was a drug addict. How could I? Am I telling you that he was doing nothing but spitting on my drug use by supplying me the very pills that could have killed me? Yes. I'm making it public because I know in my heart that happens way too often. And it's how we end up losing some of the greatest artists. Too young. These people must answer for their crimes. I remember days on my tour, security would have to check on me to see if I'm still breathing. But as long as I was medicated enough to get on stage and make that bag for me and my team, everything was all right. What a joke. But look. Just two months after telling the world all of that, he ended up getting placed on psychiatric hold. Crazy. Ever since I spoke about the industry, so many false narrative videos about me start surfacing online. If you think I'm broke, I ask you to dig deeper and do your own research. You didn't believe a stupid YouTube video. I'm living very comfortable. Ask the people spreading lies about me to stop. It's affecting my mental health. The very next post after this one. He posted a picture with his wrist and he in the hospital. Didn't he want to let people know how bad it was affecting my mental health? I feel like I should have been in the hospital on a 5150. Please stop talking about me if you don't know me. I'm just a human being like you. And this was really the last situation where Diego was in the news. After years of being in and out of rehab, his music career on a steady decline and in constant drama, he finally got away from all of it. His career might not be as hot as it was, but he's still dropping music that ain't doing what he can. This story was a crazy one, but at least he's still dropping music and doing okay. Unlike the artist from my last video, I found a few artists who mysteriously disappeared, and I dug deeper and found out what really happened to him. And that video is on screen right now.